Hi guys, when you initially get bunny, most pet shops will recommend you a rabbit cage or a hutch. This is a big no-no. Rabbits do not belong in cages, just like cats and dogs. Keeping your bunny in a cage will only cause unhappiness, aggression and possibly conditions such as sore hawks. On this channel, I highly promote free roaming your bunny. It's much cheaper than any cage, easier to clean and most importantly brings more happiness to our fairy friends. In this video, I want to cover all the essentials you'll need to free roam your bunny. Rabbits should have unlimited access to fresh water. There's a common misconception that bunnies should drink from a water bottle. They much prefer drinking from the bowl, as it's more natural for them. I would advise getting a ceramic or heavy metal bowls to make sure that your bunny can't lift and tip them over. You may choose to place them over a towel or a blanket in case of any spillage. Alternatively, you can place them on a stand. Bunny's diet consists of 80 to 85% grass hay, which they should have constant supply of throughout the day. In addition, they should also be fed fresh veggies and herbs twice a day to supplement the immune system with vital vitamins. Rabbit nuggets act as an additional source of fibre, but should be used in small amounts and contain no less than 18% fibre. I like to sprinkle some over the veggies. Lastly, natural treats such as bananas and apples are great to sweeten their life, but should be given sparingly and in tiny amounts. A slice of a fruit daily is plenty to make their day. Try to avoid buying various treats from the shops, as they usually contain substances that are harmful to your bunny. A good sized litter box is essential when having a free roaming bunny, unless you want them to do their business all over the place. A good rule of thumb is to get one where a bunny can do a whole 360 degrees turn without any problems. Avoid getting one commonly sold in shops, specifically advertised for small animals, as it's way too small and rabbit will not use it. I would recommend lining the litter box with some absorbent materials such as soft bedding or dust-free litter. Some newspapers along with a puppy pad will work great too. Tiny houses are important to a happy bunny. Rabbits are naturally prey animals, so having a place where they can run to when they feel threatened or scared should always be provided. It doesn't have to be sophisticated. A big carton box is plenty. Just make sure that the hidey house has at least two openings as they may feel trapped otherwise. Various toys are great to keep them stimulated and occupied during the day to minimise any destructive behaviour. Rabbit's teeth continue to grow throughout their life, so it's important for them to be able to wear them down by chewing and nibbling of bunny safe toys to prevent unnecessary dental problems. Items such as willow bowls and rosewood mats are great for keeping those teeth nice and healthy. In order to keep your beloved bunnies in tip top shape, it's essential that they are properly brushed at least a few times a week especially when they are shedding. Brushing your rabbit helps to keep the fur under control and stops them from ingesting fur balls during the cleaning routine, which can get stuck inside and cause problems such as intestinal blockages. Clipping the nails is just as important and should be done about once a month to keep them nicely trimmed. Allowing them to grow too long may cause them to break and cause pain. Having a first aid kit at hand is always a good idea in case of emergency. It may potentially save your bunny's life or at least give some relief before you can get them to the vet. If you would like me to make a separate video on what to include in your first aid kit, please drop a comment below. Using a pet carrier is a good, safe way to transport your bunny when necessary, such as when going to the vet. Make sure it's well ventilated and big enough. A well-cushioned pet bed offers additional comfort for your bunny. It's not a necessity, but it's nice for them to have a comfy place to have a nap. It's always helpful to have some cleaning supplies when it comes to cleaning the litter box. I just like to use some white vinegar mixed with warm water and absorbent kitchen roll to get rid of any pee stains. The brush and dustpan are handy to sweep any scattered hay around. Bunnies, just like any other pets, deserve a good veterinary care. So make sure you sign up to a rabbit savvy vet. Most practices in UK are well educated in rabbits, so finding one near you should not be a problem. It's also a good idea to get insurance for your bunny in case they have to undergo any major treatments as the cost can get expensive. 
on that note i hope you enjoyed this video please comment like and subscribe and if you want to see any videos covering specific topics drop a comment below and i'll see you all very soon bye